Megadeth, one of the pioneering forces in thrash metal, emerged from the fertile grounds of Los Angeles, California, in 1983. The band was the brainchild of guitarist and vocalist Dave Mustaine, who had previously been a member of Metallica. Mustaine's departure from Metallica due to personal and creative differences provided the impetus for the formation of Megadeth, a band that would carve its own distinct path in the world of heavy metal. Joined by bassist David Ellefson, guitarist Chris Poland, and drummer Gar Samuelson, Megadeth released its debut album, Killing Is My Business, and Business Is Good, in 1985. This raw and aggressive record showcased Mustin's formidable songwriting skills and the band's virtuosic musicianship. Despite initial production challenges, the album garnered attention within the underground metal scene and laid the groundwork for Megadeth's future success. In 1986, Megadeth signed with a major label, Capitol Records, and released their sophomore effort, Peace Sells, But Who's Buying? The album's title track became an anthem for disaffected youth, and its politically charged lyrics and complex musical arrangements solidified Megadeth's reputation as one of the genre's most innovative and provocative acts. Peace Sells Marked the beginning of Megadeth's ascent to metal stardom. The late 1980s saw Megadeth undergo several lineup changes, with Mustaine remaining the band's constant driving force. The release of albums like So Far, So Good, So What, 1988, and Rust in Peace, 1990, further cemented Megadeth's status as leaders of the thrash metal movement. Rust in Peace, in particular, is often hailed as a masterpiece of the genre, featuring intricate compositions and blistering performances from all band members. Throughout the 1990s, Megadeth continued to evolve their sound, incorporating elements of progressive rock and experimenting with different musical styles while maintaining their signature aggression and intensity. Albums like Countdown to Extinction, 1992, and Euthanasia, 1994, achieved commercial success and critical acclaim, earning the band a Grammy Award nomination for Best Metal Performance in 1995. However, the latter half of the 1990s and early 2000s were marked by internal strife and personal struggles within the band, including issues with substance abuse and creative differences. Despite these challenges, Megadeth persevered, releasing albums like Cryptic Writings, 1997, and Risk, 1999, which showcased a more mainstream-friendly sound but divided opinion among fans and critics. In 2002, Megadeth experienced a hiatus when Mustaine suffered a serious arm injury, leading to doubts about the band's future. However, Mustaine's determination and resilience saw him make a full recovery, and Megadeth returned with a vengeance in 2004 with the release of The System Has Failed. This album marked a return to Megadeth's thrash metal roots and was followed by a string of successful releases, including United Abominations, 2007, and Endgame, 2009. They have inspired countless musicians and continue to captivate audiences around the world with their electrifying live performances and genre-defining albums.